Hi all, back for part four of this painting. I did think it was going to be a three-parter and that I would be able to finish it in the three sessions. But uh, when I put it on the wall and considered it, you know, it wasn't firing me up. It wasn't alive. There was nothing that really excited me. It's a competent painting, but that was about it. There was nothing that was doing it that spark. So I put it on the wall and... Although I was feeling a bit of self-imposed pressure because I wanted to have it done for you all so you could see it, I knew it wasn't what I wanted to um, give to you in terms of um, a demonstration about creative confidence. So today I came back up into my little studio here and I was playing about and I was... Um, in between commissions and I thought I just want to have a little play I need some fresher colors it's raining outside so I picked up a color I don't haven't used before but I think one that's going to become my favorite one for a while it's quinacridone red this time not the magenta it's the red it's a pinkier red I've been really enjoying the pinks in here and of course they're really popping out and the whites of the daisies the flowers so I'm referring again to the sketches that I initially made. I haven't got the flowers with me. Um, they are long gone, <laughs> as is the nature of flowers. Uh, but I have got the sketches, black and white bits of um, paper um, that I made here, the cardboard, black and white lines. That's gonna just go in my view there, in my peripheral vision. Okay. Painting is one of those things that you just can't rest at. You, you should never be satisfied. If you're satisfied, really, I don't think that you're doing it right. You know, there's always the next thing. It's a lifetime. It's a lifetime practice. It's a lifetime commitment. And in some ways, the pleasure of it, the joy of it is knowing that you're never going to get there. It's something that's going to um, intellectually and emotionally engage you for your lifetime. But also, that can be quite saddening, can't it? So what I'm going to do today is uh, get in there with some... I've got some white, titanium white here, thick acrylic. I've got a bit of uh, my open gel uh, gloss. That's a medium. That's just going to loosen the paint a bit as I paint. I've got some Hansa Yellow Light, although I bet you could use something similar like a um, lemon yellow. And I am just going to start putting that on. I'm keeping in mind those shapes, anything that interested me. I've got also here a magenta coloured um, oil stick, black oil stick and a white oil bar. And I'm just going to get in there because it's not what I want it to be. So I've got nothing to lose here. Let's get brave. Mm. Let's peel the edge off this oil bar to start with. Mm. I have ordered some more of these. I hope they come soon. <laughs> there we go. Come on now. Let's get you. Let's get you. What are we saying here? Hmm? Are we saying, we like flowers. They're tiny and little. No, no, we're saying we love flowers. They're bold and they're vibrant and they give life. They're energizing. And we are not settling for a second best. We are not settling for that. The paint is generous. It's going on there generously. Embrace paint like we are embracing life. With all its runs and its drips and its beautiful little incidental marks getting rid of that grey now I don't want that grey anymore in my picture in open feeling engaging with Responding, yes, no, yes, no, yes, yes. What am I wanting to say yes to? 
saying yes to that. Look at that beautiful mark against there. I'm stopping there with that, saying yes to that. Just this bit here, the rest of it is not there yet. Bits that I loved previously, they are being given up now, given over, because something else is it in charge, some other vision that's there. Something that we've seen, that we know, that we're striving for to get it on there. And that's where the words can help and those initial sketches can help. I'm pointing over there because the words are on mine. Vibrant, sunny, bright, strong, silvery, sinewy, sinewy. Sinewy. Shapes. Sinewy. Generous. Life affirming. Vibrant, beautiful, powerful, engaging. Paintings, um, there's a, an artist I love, um, Brian Rosenberg, and I heard him say once that you put two words next to each other, and a noun and, and a verb, and you have a sentence. He said you put two bits of paint together and you have a picture. much more satisfying. Much, much, much more satisfying. Just stepping back and looking at that. Just grabbing another brush here. Yeah, paintings should move you, they should make you feel exasperated, they should make you want to laugh, they should make you want to cry, they should make you feel like you don't know where they're going, what's happening with them. They should grab you, they really should grab you by the throat and by the heart and pull you about. No, where's the joy? Yes, no, where is it? Where is it? giving it time, giving it space, letting it talk, looking at the different tools I've got, not just using one brush, using different things, the charcoal here. Mm. What are the lines that I want there? Where are they? Where are those lines? Where are those shapes? Where are the shapes that I really liked? Initially, where were they? Putting those back on. Not where they were with the flower arrangement. That was just um, that was just to give me a suggestion of where the flowers, the ideas might be, the shapes might be. Thinking now about design of these paintings about the line, about the design, where the lights are, where the darks are, where the structure is, where the design elements are. It's 
say yes. Say yes. Looking for the different color. Feeling the intuition about which colors are needed, what I'd like to use. better. Is there any bits we're not good there with that we could change? Being generous with those colours, you know. Oh, I think one of the mistakes that I quite often see with people who are early on in their art career is worrying that working from position of, of scarcity you know not having enough paint or not thinking they will have enough paint but you are going to have enough just trust it and use it mm. okay how's that this painting now I've got to say another 10 minutes on now from when I started transformed completely but I'm um, 10 times happier with it. It's probably not quite finished yet and I'll, what I'll need to do is to sit back, I'll need to put that on my wall now, look at it, think about it, let it sort of perme permeate through me. But my 10 minutes of putting the paint on there is done, that's it. That's really all I can do now in this video for you and with you. I'm probably gonna be posting this up shortly because I do want you to see it and where we've gone and what we've done so I don't want to leave it any longer but I'll keep updating you with this painting's progress because I don't think it's finished with me yet I know it hasn't finished with me yet. 